Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTicker. In this video, I'm going to do the CPU throttling test in the ICO 9S E device by using the Ultra Game Mode. Yes, when this exact question which has been requested by few of my subscribers asked me to demonstrate on this ICO 9S E, let's find out using the Ultra Game Mode, how is the throttling effect going to be there in this Snapdragon 888 processor. And before this, I did do a couple of uh, testings using the Monster Mode and without Monster Mode. And the results were kind of close to 80% that CPU throttling is there. I let me show you exactly the graph, what's going on as well. You can see, if this is how the graph looks like. You can see clearly what's happening here with the graph. Using with the monster mode, also the CPU throttling up to 80 percentage. So these are the average we are getting, 80 percentage and 79 percentage. So today we are going to find out: is there any improvement will be there using the ultra game mode or not? Let's disable the Bluetooth and everything, and change the wallpaper to normal wallpaper, and let's go back to the ultra game mode and add this CPU throttling as you can see CPU throttling has been added successfully and let's open the CPU throttling application and let's remove the case as well because I don't want to use like use case in the middle like while doing this kind of testing yes so case also removed and let's just uh, enable the all airplane mode airplane mode also enable and let's check the temperatures in the beginning 31 degrees Celsius my room temperature is 30 degrees Celsius not bad and same settings I'm trying to use right now as well. And let's find out friends, what will happen overall with the temperatures and what will happen with overall the graph. So this complete test is done only using the ultra game mode. And I will be back after five minutes, 10 minutes and 15 minutes of time. Right now, as you can see, friends, this is how the CPU throttling graph looks like in the iQOO 9 SE device. You can clearly see by using the ultra game mode, the temperatures did increase up to 39.6 degrees Celsius as well by using the ultra game mode. You can clearly see if it's not bad. 38.2 and 39.6 regarding the temperatures in this device exactly and i can be back after some time even using the ultra game mode also throttling is still happening let's see how much the high temperatures can be detected and how is the performance course as well after some time and finally friends the cpu throttling test is uh, about to end you can clearly see that final temperatures did reach up to 40 degrees celsius in the icon and sc not bad so usually the Snapdragon 888 processor will definitely increase high temperatures, that's no doubt at all. But overall it was able to maintain kind of close to 40 degrees, that's kind of uh, another good thing, good sign I would say. And let's see the final results, how much the CPU total, uh, same thing friends, even the CPU totaling right now happened till 80%. That's kind of average I would say, it's not great, it's not too bad, it's kind of average. Using with the ultra game mode, right now we got the results. As you can see exactly CPU totaling 81% of maximum performance using with ultra game mode. So that's it friends. Thank you for watching. There's nothing has been changed with and without monster mode and with and without ultra game mode. Same kind of CPU totaling has been there. Meanwhile signing off until the of more updates and bye.